Joining us now is Helen Sharman, the first British astronaut to travel into space. Hi, it's Hello, great morning. to see. How excited are you? Oh, this is just tremendous, mm -hmm. isn't it? Mm -hmm. And we've been, of course, a big build-up. We were so hopeful at the end of the summer and it got scrubbed. Um, and then we, it, we were hoping again um, in early October, no, no, no go. But yeah, now, now we've actually, you know, we've, we've had that amazing launch. And the, the, the sight Nearly of the go. rocket... Nearly didn't go again. Apparently they fixed it with a spanner in the last minute. It, I mean, we, it was quite... Incredible, isn't it? I and mean, we've got there's a whole load of technology, and of course there's I mean, something like 489 different criteria um, for go or no go, and that didn't include um, a valve that didn't quite, you know, wasn't wasn't quite tight enough. And I guess it's the temperature that changes that tends to open these things. But yes, uh, the, the 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 technicians who actually made that happen, um, all hats off to them, and the teamwork that went with it. Why do we want to go to the moon? Oh, I mean, I suppose we will talk about going back to the moon because, yes, we've been before, haven't we? Um, the moon will allow us to find out an awful lot more about not only our own planet, um, it will allow us to find out more about what we need to do to go to Mars. Um, it'll open up what we're hoping to be is a lunar economy as well, so... Um, materials that we can't make anywhere else that we can produce on the moon partly to use in space that we might use let's say for satellites to be able to beam energy clean energy back down to us on earth or perhaps it's just materials that we can use on earth in in, in our industries so there's a whole load of different reasons to go different spin-offs but i think the main thing is really it's on the way to going to mars why is it taking us so long oh <clears throat> uh, I think, to be quite honest, right now it's a it's a really hot time politically. It, 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 we could have done it sooner if we wanted to, but it is expensive, um, and we've got lots of different priorities and pulls on money. Um, yes, we need education, we need our healthcare. We've got a global economy that's been up and down, and there's so many things going on. But um, but in the end, I think it's been decided that um, because of China and the the Chinese desire to return to. For, to go to the moon, I mean, they haven't been yet, um, but um, there's this uh, race to get particularly to the South Pole where there might be ice um, and other important minerals, particularly rare earths. So, um, yeah, there's, there is now a political reason to go to the moon now rather than 10 years ago. Would you like to go? Oh, I'd love to go. I think, um, yeah, I, I can't imagine there's an astronaut who would say they would not want to go to the moon. Yeah, and, um, and of course, then, ultimately, uh, to Mars, that's got to be the real big ticket destination. Mm, yeah, of course, you were the first Brit in space weren't you? What was that like? Oh, tremendous. I mean, I felt, that, of course, a big sense of responsibility because I applied to go into space because I thought it would be good for me. I thought it would be fun, if I'm quite honest, and interesting, doing things that you can't do on Earth. Um, it was only as the time got a bit closer I realised, actually, there's a bit of, a, a bit of responsibility here because I'm not just doing it for me. This is the first British space flight and, uh, and I had some form of responsibility, to, I suppose, to, um, to, to communicate what was going on about it or had happened um, after I came back, but also subsequently, really. Um, a lot of um, teachers tell me that I've been a bit of a role model for some of the students, mm -hmm. and so, uh, which is lovely, uh, very flattering, but, yes, it does, does give me a bit of a, a sense of... a keen sense of responsibility to make sure that I live up to that model. Do you think you'll find yourself in a position where you could go to the moon still? One should never say no. I never thought I would go into space the first time. It's, um, it was, for me, it was a complete one-off. Um, nobody from Britain had been before, so why, why would I even think when I was growing up that it could happen to me? So, no, it wasn't, it wasn't on the agenda then. It's not on my agenda now, but, you know, we, we should never, <laughs> never say no. To be quite honest, probably I would give that opportunity to somebody who um, was younger and who might manage to then have a whole career uh, of being an astronaut and, um, and, and doing many more useful things in their lifetime but no, I wouldn't turn down the opportunity if it was handed to me on a plane. There we go. So when do you think we'll find ourselves on the moon again and when do you think we'll be in, on Mars? Oh well actually people walking on the moon, NASA said two years, mm, I think it'll slip to three. Uh, Mars, 20 years if I'm going to be, uh, be a little bit brave, 25 if I'm being conservative. Ah. Yeah. But it's, it's, you know, it's in most of our lifetimes yes. and we can really look forward to that. And you know, I just think it's at a time now when we're hearing so much about people who are self-serving or um, being destructive. Uh, it's so inspirational to see what we can do when we cooperate positively towards something that could benefit humankind in general. It's an absolute pleasure to have met you. Thank you so much for joining us. Thanks a lot. Thank you. Um, obviously, we'll keep an eye on that. Artemis, I think I'm right in saying, was the twin of... Apollo. Apollo, there we go. Uh, Greek goddess of hunting? Something like that. Yeah! <laughs> <laughs> We're going to go with that. We'll be on a Trivial Pursuit team together. It's good to talk to you. Thanks so much, Lindy.